Okay, welcome, 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 welcome. Today we are learning about reverse foil. I assure you that's what it says. A equals one. Put a smile on your face. Let's go. Meow, we're going to start out with an easy problem here. X squared plus 6x plus 9. Now, I'm going to guide you through this. Make sure you take some ste steps and tips and write, the, write them down. Ready? Here we go. Now what you want to do first is look at x squared, alright, just circled it, and your 9. Okay, now, pretend that there's a 1 right here, because there actually is a 1 right there. You're going to take that 1 times this 9, which makes, of course, 9. Now what I like to do here is make a t-chart under the 9 to show all the factors of 9. So let's start out with the easy one. 1 and 9. 3 and 3. Alright, so we already have our factors that add up to 6. We're going to plug those into our equation right now. Okay, so step one would be all in black. Look at your equation and circle the, the, the two numbers that you need to multiply to get your your threes. <laughs> I don't know, whatever. So, right now we're going to start with the second part of the equation. Um, x squared plus 3x plus 3x plus 9. Okay, now what we're going to do here first is we are going to put parentheses around x squared and then plus 3x. Also, plus 3x plus 9. Okay, now we are going to simplify this equation by taking out an x from the first one to make it x. plus 3. It's a little rough, I know. And then we're going to take out a 3, a, a positive 3. That's a 3, trust me, to make it x plus 3. Once again, I assure you that is a 3. Now, when you simplify, you must make sure that in the parentheses, this and this are the same. When you have accomplished that goal, then you are most likely to get the answer right. So, in the green, I've already written out, this would be your answer. Sounds easy enough. Let's go on to a harder question. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, now we move on to a difficult question. Not too difficult, though. I just added uh, negatives. To start off the problem, what we want to do is look at this and look at this. Now, remember from my last tip, imagine that there's a 1 right there. There's no number in front of x, it has to be 1 could be negative 1 too if there's a negative, but there isn't. So we take 1 times a negative 6. Don't, don't be fooled. Don't forget about this negative. That would be a negative 6. So we obviously would get a negative 6. Now make your T chart. And we go 1. Negative 6, also negative 1, 6. But I think what we want is a negative 3 and a 2. So don't forget what we do next is we plug it to our equation x squared minus 3x. 
plus, don't forget the plus, ladies and gentlemen, a 2x. Yeah. And don't forget that negative 6. Now that wasn't so bad. I was just tricking you. I was just trying to make you nervous, I guess. So let's move on, okay? <laughs> just wipe the brow. Let's put parentheses around these, okay? Don't forget about those parentheses. They'll get you. And, oh, look at that. There's a 2x, or a x squared. I'm sorry, x squared. So automatically, you want to take out an x. So let's make it an x minus 3. Okay. Oh, uh-oh. What do we do here? What do we do here? Anybody? Oh, I know. We're just going to take out a 2. Easy enough. I know. X minus 3. Ooh, that's a little, it's a little slanted, but we'll move on. Okay, so before we move on, we must check if our parentheses are the same, which they are. So we have a better chance of getting the answer right. Now that's going to be x plus 2, which I'm getting from here and here. Underline that so you know what I'm talking about. And then we only bring down one, x minus three. Ooh, ladies and gentlemen, I think we have acquired the answer. All right, now I'm gonna start you off with a little bit harder question. I switched up the variables to maybe confuse you, and I kept the negatives. But you're gonna grab onto the helping hand, and of course, wipe the brow. Okay, let's get started. Of course we know what to do first. We need to take the 3, which this time it's not a 1, it's a 3, so don't forget about that, and the negative 5. Don't forget about the negative either. Which makes, of course, a negative 15. Now, what do we do next? I'll tell you. We must now meet the goal of getting multiples of fifth, negative 15 that add up to negative 2. I think I already have a couple in mind, but let's start out with the easy one. 1 and a negative 15. Also, it could be negative 1 or ne and a positive 15. But I think what we want, ladies and gentlemen, is negative 5 and a positive 3. So, what we want to do next is... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, sorry, I had a little te technical goof. <laughs> but let's proceed. <laughs> okay, wipe the brow. Remember, wipe the brow. And hold my hand. It's a helping one. Okay. Now let's plug these numbers in. Let's plug these suckers in. Okay. So we got a 3... P squared, all right, negative 5x, ooh, it's a rough x, plus 3x, mm -hmm. and a 5, that is negative. Okay, let's move on. Now don't forget about the parentheses. Okay, so we're going to put 3p squared and a negative 5x in parentheses and plus 3x minus 5 in parentheses. Now the next step is to reduce. So what I want to do here is take out, oop, I'm sorry about that. That is actually a p. Even pros make mistakes. <laughs> Move on. <laughs> Wipe the brow. I'm doing. I'm wiping my brow right now, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. So what we want to take out here is a p 
which would make this a 3p minus 5. <laughs> and, ooh, what do we take out of here, ladies and gentlemen? Oof. Oof. I mean, we already have the same, same thing in each parentheses. You know what? I'm just going to take out, when in doubt, take out a 1. Positive 1. So, a 3p minus 5. Not so bad. I know. I know. So you're going to end up with a p plus 1. And then, of course, a 3p minus 5. Ha! <laughs> Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. You got it. I hope you like my steps, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Ha! <laughs> Make sure to wipe the brow and grab the helping hand, and just move on if you have any troubles, because you know your stuff. Now, if you ever have any trouble, just remember, trust your instincts, remember your training, you can do it, I believe in you, bye-bye.